What is the worst thing that has happened at a high school reunion party? At my 10-year reunion, the organizers were doing the thing where they give awards for the person who came the farthest to attend, the person with the most kids, etc. The award came up for who had the oldest kid, and people started shouting out their kids' ages. When it quieted down, this shy girl near the front said in a normal voice, 11. And then we all realized why we had stopped seeing Heather right before graduation. At my 10-year high school reunion, we had a decent turnout, maybe 100 plus people. We were at a pretty nice hotel banquet hall. There was one guy I had known all through high school, and he was a well-known stoner. I'll call him Chris for this story. I see Chris walk into the banquet hall, stop in his tracks, turn around in a very slow 360 degree circle, surveying the entire room. He just says, whoa, and he looks visibly alarmed. He stops and his eyes settle on me. I say, hey, Chris. Long time no see, man. He kind of slides over to me and whispers in my ear, this is really weird. I'm pretty sure I know every single person in this room. And that is when I realize he is wearing the same clothes as all the banquet hall workers. Oh my god. Chris is working as a server at his own high school reunion, and he has no clue what is happening. I walk him out to the front lobby, and explain it's our 10-year high school reunion. He is mortified, beyond embarrassed. He was never contacted, and didn't even realize it had been 10 years since we graduated. He just knew he was working another catering gig in a never-ending series of catering gigs. I make him take me to his manager. I explain what is happening and tell the manager there is no way this guy is working his own high school reunion. Awesomely, the manager agrees. We find a different suit jacket and tie for him, and I take Chris back to the party. He ended up having a good night. It has been a decade since I finished school. I see an old classmate sometimes when he does maintenance work in my apartment block. About a year ago he asked if I was going to the reunion organized by some of our classmates. I said no because I couldn't think of anything worse and also hadn't been invited. Apparently they organize it over Facebook which I don't have. When I next saw him six months later I asked how the reunion was and he exasperatedly explained that it had been a real shit show. The mean girls had started planning it together, fell out and then started each planning their own. So there was about four shitty tiny awkward parties and everyone was confused. Small college reunion with my core group of friends from university. This was about five years after graduation. We all partied pretty hard in school, but mellowed out in our late 20s. Decided to all meet up for dinner at a local bar slash restaurant. Think Applebee's, but nicer. One guy showed up already wasted, with a duffel bag full of multiple packets of weed and the bottle he started on before meeting us. He decided we were boring, finished his bottle in the restroom, and refused to come out. He ended up passing out there. Bartender kicked him out. He came alone in an Uber, and we had no idea where he lived. None of us wanted to take him to our places, he was angry, puking and belligerent, so we dropped him off at his last known address. His parents' house. Both of them answered the door and we handed him over. It was past midnight and incredibly awkward. He is not going to be invited to the next reunion. The people who were supposed to plan our high school reunion dropped the ball, so I figured it wouldn't happen. But then this other dude from our high school stepped up to plan it. He was in a graduate program and also working part-time at a banquet hall, and he said that his boss would give us the banquet hall space for free. It was a really nice gesture and he seemed really into it. He had been miserable in high school. Grumpy, sullen, unpleasant, mean to other people. He came out in college, so maybe the weight of having to keep it a secret was part of why he was so unpleasant. Maybe he'd be more fun now. I was working a shit job and had no savings at the time, so I was neither interested in having my former classmates pity me nor was I gunning to shell out a lot of money to attend. Plus my shitty ex might be there and that didn't feel worth it. The organizer made a Facebook event and asked people to Venmo him the cost of admission prior to attending. He wanted something like $15 to $20 ahead, I can't remember. Anyway, it didn't really feel with paying for. Maybe if there would be some drinks included or something, I would go for an hour. I sent him a private message asking what the admissions ticket covered, food? Drinks? The space was free, after all. He posted publicly on the Facebook page that if the cost of admission was too steep, message me and we can work out some financial aid. Uh, what? I then publicly posted, asking what the admission cost covered. 
No response. Other people ask too. He said it would go towards having a bartender and server dedicated to the event space, as well as towards food. Okay, fair. Folks, he was the server. My friend showed up having not yet paid him, and he barred her entry. The people who had paid the admission cost showed up to an empty banquet hall, were given a menu by their former classmate, and told to order their own food and drink from him. He pocketed the admission ticket money as his fee. After an hour, he brought out one grocery store sheet cake for 75 people to share. That was it. When I was in 7th grade, this rich snob bully, John, grabbed off my head a wool scarf my mother had knitted for me. He threw the scarf into a pile of muddy leaves and jumped up and down on it. When I went home that day my mother was furious when she saw the torn, muddy scarf. She made me tell her who did it, then she called the school principal and yelled at him. The next day John got pulled into the principal's office and paddled. That was back when they still paddled kids. 55 years later, at our 50th class reunion, John came up to me and angrily said, You got me into trouble in 7th grade. I got him in trouble? And he's still mad about it, 55 years later. I said, John you were a dick in high school and you're still a dick, and I walked away. It wasn't really bad, just odd. A guy came with full kiss style makeup on, white face, black shapes around his eyes and black lips. We were too awkward and polite to mention it, so everyone just chatted with him as though it was completely normal to turn up like that. So far it was the only thing that happened at my high school reunion. 10th reunion. Graduating class of 850. Well-funded high school. Every class has a trust fund to fund reunions. A good friend of mine was our treasurer and organized it via Facebook. We started big. Ballroom, setting for 1,000. A year out, lots of interest. Definitely not 1,000 people interest, started to scale back. Six months out, less interest. Lots of people reconnected via Facebook and lost the drive to actually care. Scaled back more. Three months out was deadlines for attendance. The school's alumni association would dispense the funds based on class size and allotment for the milestone. We hadn't put a deposit down because the target kept moving on attendance. Two months out my friend finalizes and does a formal cutoff. She had kept taking anything for a month due to lack of interest. Day of, it's at a local bar. Not a small bar, either. Good food. Rented the entire place for a Friday night at that. 25-ish alumni showed out of 150 RSVPs, with spouses or whatever was around 40 people. That was the worst part is knowing so few people actually gave a shit, but the best part was the treasurers smirked the entire night. The school had allotted $50 per person for this. $50, per person, plus guests. $15,000 with instructions to pay everything fully. We drank and ate our asses off to the point of almost being Roman, and the bill was $7,500 between food and rental. She paid the bill, then handed everyone $100 from the envelope, and then handed the rest of the envelope to the manager and was like here's the tip. So, roughly $3,000 for the wait staff and crew. Pretty memorable and honestly not that big of a bummer, but holy shit people just don't care. One guy had made not one but two fortunes and had a net worth of well over $100 million by our 20th reunion, high-speed modem patents in the late 1980s, early investor in broadband. Right place at the right time. He'd already retired. On our classmate update bulletin he listed his occupation as unemployed and unemployable as a bit of a gag. Some of the well-meaning but clueless types sought him out to offer encouragement and tips on how to find work. At my 20-year reunion, two decades after high school, two guys got arrested for fist fighting on the sidewalk outside the bar we went to Friday night. Why were they fighting? One of the guys slept with the other guy's girlfriend in high school, and drunkenly brought up the 20 years ago fling. Neither if them married her, or even dated her after high school. Those idiots got charges 20 years later for her, though. My class never got to the reunion part. Our class president was MIA. When they tried to plan our five-year reunion on Facebook, it devolved into people fighting over the venue and whether or not kids were allowed. Half the people wanted to get trashed and get away from their kids if they had any. The other half wanted a dry reunion in a local park with kids allowed. Our class also had no money because they spent it on stupid crap senior year, so people argued over whether it would be catered or a potluck, 
and how much they would collect from everyone if it was the former. I would not have gone even if they'd managed to figure something out.